Hi, this is Frank with Die Hard RC Addicts, and both me and Paul were out here with our new Iris Plus. Um, Paul bought one also. He got the one that's the complete kit. It's got the Taro gimbal for the GoPro on it, and he also got the live view uh, for monitor with the monitor so he can watch the uh, FPV flight while he's doing it. Um, we're going to go ahead and do some test flying today. We finally got some good weather. The last couple weeks has been snowing and it's been pretty cold. Um, today is nice, so we're going to go ahead and do some test flying here and show you guys how they fly. All right, first up, we're going to try Paul's. He's got the live view up and running, so you can see we got video on the screen. And we're going to test out the follow me mode. He's going to be riding his bicycle down the dam and hopefully it's going to follow him. So let's go ahead and get everything ready and we'll fire it up and I'm gonna have to put the camera down so I can hold on to the controller while he holds on to the phone and drives down the dam so we'll be using the footage from the GoPro on this Okay, I uh, got the camera on a tripod now so we can try to film down the dam to see what the quadcopter's doing. It looked like it ran pretty smooth on Paul's. I'm going to go ahead and take mine up with the Sony Action Cam and see how it does. Paul's going to drive the bicycle down the dam again, so let's get it in the air. Alright, as you can see, the, I don't know if you can see it, but the quadcopter does look a little pitchy while it's following. It's pitching up and down, but that's why you have to have the gimbal on there to hopefully get the video more stabilized. That's the one thing we did notice in the follow me mode, is it doesn't really follow in a smooth pattern. It seems like the quadcopter speeds up and slows down a little bit. But as long as you have the gimbal on there, it smooths it out pretty good. Yeah, and it seems to keep you in frame pretty well when you're moving straight and making uh, smooth radius turns. When you do like a 180 like Paul just did down there, sometimes you can lose the, the camera or lose you on the screen. Try circle me mode, Paul. Circle me. All right, now it's in circle me mode, so it should follow him and go around in the circle as it's following him.
again, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the quadcopter does look a little pitchy as it's going around in the radius, but the gimbal should hopefully take care of that. Uh, just go ahead and bring it in. I'm going to go ahead and take it over once it gets back around here. All right, I'll just take it over. I'm just going to flip it back into stabilized mode and then back into loiter. All right, now I have control of the quad topper. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it in for landing. Actually, let's try the return to home feature. All right, I flipped the return to home. It should bring it back and land it where it took off. Maybe. Now let's just do some uh, normal flying, see how stable it is and how it flies. I'm going to go ahead and take off in uh, stabilized mode. Alright, this is in stabilized mode, there's no GPS lock. Flies well, pretty smooth, even in stabilized mode. All right, let me uh, put it in loiter, which should be GPS lock. And as you can see, it's holding pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and try to return to home again and see how it does. On my head. All right, we got Paul up. He's just doing, going to do some regular flying using his live view. The quad's already in the air. Now we can just see how stable the Tarek gimbal is 
with normal flying. How's it looking on the screen, Paul? It's really good, nice and stable. Let me see if I can get a little footage on there. Looks nice and clear. You getting any kind of squiggly lines or anything? Um, looks like there's a couple, you know, real fast glitches. Let's see, I'm going down the Fly down dam. the dam and see yeah. how far you can go before you start losing uh, video signal. Looks like it's getting a little hazy. Uh, data link loss. <laughs> Probably come close to the ground. That and the antenna on my phone though. is just on the ground. How Let's far, see, let me how turn around. Flying. All right, even turning, that's usually where you're going to lose yeah, your Yeah, that's probably banking. about a football field or more out. Let me see if I can figure out where you're at. Right down the dam. There you are. I don't know, how high do you think you are? It should check the telemetry, see that it tells your altitude. Altitude 26 meters, I believe. Okay. You want to on the radio? Yeah. Oh yeah, the radio does have a nice telemetry, telemetry. already built into it. So it's got the, that tells you your battery voltage, how many milliamps you used. You hit down, longitude, latitude. There's your longitude and latitude. And there's also. altitude also again, 26 meters. Cool. Which mode are you flying in? It's in loiter mode right now. Yeah, well, it's pretty camera. rock solid when it's hovering. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it looks solid. Real stable on the camera. Yeah. yeah, you're up pretty high. 26 meters. Have you tried it in the stabilized mode yet? Yeah, here, yeah, okay. Stabilized doesn't stabilized. have GPS lock. Here's the stabilized mode. Yeah, and go back into loiter mode. Oops. I can only click the auto <laughs> for a second. Okay, coming back towards us. Pretty awesome on FPV. Yeah, it's only got what a 200 milliwatt transmitter on the video. You know, the live view came with everything. You got your video transmitter, hand receiver, all the, cables. the monitor, the cable, nice plug and play setup. You know, it's not super powerful, but. Be good enough for hey, test the land button. That's one thing I didn't do yet. Okay, if I did the return flying. to home, but well, when I get rid of land, that video looks really good. The gimbal looks like it's nice and steady. I'm out there pretty far now, starting to get a little bit haze. Let's see, I'm spinning around. You gotta aim it straight down at the dock. Oh, is that Tom and Kayleen up there? I'm right above them, I think. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Okay. Coming back. Right above us. So looks like there is like that cone, like you always talk about, Frank. Right when you're losing there. signal yeah, straight it above you. you on the video. It's usually a dead spot.
All right, Paul's gonna bring it in and try the land button too. To see okay, how let me get it close right over the grass here, and then I'll hit the. They want to look at the control, Frank. Show them the land button. This button here is just the the regular land. It's not return. Yeah, wherever you're at, if you flip it, that switch, it'll, it'll bring come it down. down nice and gently. Okay, and land so it I'm gonna bring it right over the grass here. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, right, come forward just a little bit more. Okay, hit it. All right, so it should land all by itself. Nice and steady. And slow. There you go. Cool. Pretty awesome.